So I'm currently behind the wheel of the 2022 Mazda CX-9 Signature, and I'm gonna take some time to go through the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right, over on the left, you've got your window switches, you've got your door locks, you've got a rear mirror just right here. Up top, you've got a door latch. To the right of that, you've got a button for the rear uh, trunk release. You've got a camera view button. So pushing this once, pulls up this camera view. One more time, this view, third time, kind of a wheel view. And again, bring you back to your menu on the nav. Then you have a couple other driver assistance uh, buttons, lane assist, parking, a hill assist button as well. Moving to the gauge cluster, it is a digital squared screen in the center uh, with two analog gauges on either side of that. So on the left, you've got your tack. Over on the right, you've kind of got a split between the engine temp and the fuel gauge, even though there's a digital fuel gauge right here. And then there miles per gallon gauge to the left of that. Center is a, a digital speedometer. Down low showcases what gear you're in and currently have it toggle on the sport mode, but now toggling it away is normal. And then back to sport. Moving back to the steering wheel, you have um, paddles on the back of the steering wheel. So down gear on the left, up gear on the right. Over on the left, you've got volume control, you got tuner knobs, you got different talk buttons down low. You have um, cruise control settings. This measures the distance of the automatic cruise control of the vehicle in front of you and mode uh, button as well as off button. Give you a better look at the steering wheel. Behind the steering wheel, this is where the engine start stop button is located. And then you have the navigation display. So it's very simple. It has five main pages. And then also if you connect your phone for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it kind of connects another screen off to the right. But you have information screen. So it's kind of got the fuel efficiency monitor screen. It's going arrow fast, showcasing just kind of different bar graphs on how efficient you're driving. Um, serious travel link, serious vehicle status monitor clicking in there, just kind of tells you your next service, maintenance details, and the maintenance settings of the vehicle. Coming back out, entertainment, whatever media you're listening to, communication, this is where your phone will be connected. You can access your phone book, navigation, your map, whatever route you've set. Let's go down to settings. You can adjust uh, everything you think of. You've got in vehicle displays, so you can adjust certain active driving display, center display, sound settings, the safety settings of the vehicle, vehicle settings, configures you know, everything in the inside, connectivity settings for Bluetooth and other connections, system settings, kind of like you know, your time, date, clock, speed, stuff like that. Everything that can be adjusted. Just get you back to the home screen. Down from there, you got two vents, you got your hazard button down in the center. So up top right here, you have a heated steering wheel button. It is kind of cold around me, so I currently have that on. And you've got normal HVAC buttons all throughout. So you got heated seats for the driver and the passenger, as well as ventilated seats for both the driver and the passenger button tucked behind the gear lever right here. And then your normal HVAC controls, um, which will display the temperature digitally up here. So I currently just have it set to high your fan controls. Tucked down here, there's a charging pad. Coming back from there, you have gear levers. So you have park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And then you knock it over. You can select your gears manually on the gear lever or on those paddles on the back of the steering wheel. Right here is where you have the sport mode toggle. So um, this is where I kind of flick the switch get out of sport mode or in sport mode. It's just the singular mode of the vehicle or the normal mode as well. From back from there, you have the parking brake latch. You've got the auto hold button um, for uh, holding the vehicle instead of using your left foot. I mean, your right foot on the brake. Jumping over the center, you've got a volume control knob over here and you can also turn off um, the volume as well. The center here, this is the um, infotainment 
toggle. So I was kind of cycling through everything up here. You just turn this toggle and it also has um, different quick presets to get into certain pages, such as the media, the navigation, you got a favorites, home, and a back button as well. It'll kind of pop you where you need to go. Back from there, you also have two cup holders. Your armrest breaks open into two different parts. So apparently housing a charging cord but there's two USB ports in here. I'm currently using one of them. Moving to the passenger side. Got your glove box. Features Bose speakers throughout the cabin. Give you a better look at the door. Seats. Same seating theme throughout. This features three rows so you got that row in the back the second row gets heated seats as well as you can see by those buttons in front of the um, cup holders got the lighting situation for the rear the front cabin gets a sunroof that does not extend to the second uh, section but the sunroof sunroof controls located up the top lighting controls as well as sunglass holder that is pretty much the interior of the 2022 mazda cx9 signature if there is a feature i didn't go in depth enough on on the interior of this thing be sure to ask some questions in the comments below and i would love to find you some answers and if i don't know the answer i will definitely point you in a direction of an answer thanks for watching